Here we go. Episode 8. I apologize for a bit of the nasal side of things. It's allergy season, so I'm all clogged up here. What I'm going to do is show you a couple things. Uh, you know, what we built from the last episode, how to use them. Since I'm staring at some stairs, let me add that real quick. Okay, kind of looks like a staircase. And I'm probably going to need... Uh, uh-oh. Uh, 10 should do the trick. All right. Let me show you a couple things real quick. I've got the pressure plate. I've got a door. I've got buttons. i got levers. I've got a few things going on. And i got a sunset. Helps if I have sound. Hold on a sec, guys. Aha! Headphones, beautiful thing. All right. What a lever does, a lever is a toggle switch. It's on and off. If it's attached to something that is movable, a door, a gate, it could actually be on the ground... I'm just right-clicking here. Doesn't work so well there. It's going to power the stuff that's surrounding it. There you go. So that's all it does. It's, it's stuck open or stuck closed. So it does have a place within your uh, art artillery, just not always. Button's a little different. It's a timer. Okay, and that was through the plates, uh, through the planks. Click. And assuming you can actually figure out how to walk through the door. There you go. Hmm. My original idea was to build a fence... All right, well, you know what? I'm going to build a fence anyway. Here's my fence. There's a fence gate. Oops. Pressure plate. All right, so we can pretend... Hmm. We can pretend we just came out of our house. Oh, you know what we can do? We actually do have another house. Now this this house here is prime real estate for a uh, spider to climb up to the to the sides and hang around on top. And when you come out, he jumps down on you. Just an FYI. If you want to fix that, a good way of doing that. Craft table. These are half slabs. Now, depending upon where you put them, if you put them down here, you put them up here. Now, these are actually technically steps. Yes, your character can climb up them, and technically other characters can too. Monsters, for example. All right, and you would need to do that all the way around. From here, here, you have to do it all the way around. What happens is the spider can't quite get up there, and that's how you help spider-proof your roof. If if this um, if you have an object that is climbable and close, they can jump onto the roof. Um, definitely going to need more. Hmm. Okay. Plan B. Fences you run out of real quick. Hmm. Sure, we'll take some sticks. If you notice the sticks change color again. Right click brings us the amount. Alright. 
sometimes the wood has a certain aesthetic to it, but other times it does not. And this is our gate. Sometimes I like to put extra fence posts on top of it, just so you know where the gate is. Actually, we have some stairs, so why don't we just put some stairs here. Since I'm talking about stairs, right corner, and gives us that little corner piece. Corner, gives us a corner piece. Now we can jump, come up to it on the side. Now, let's discuss buttons and levers. Does not work. But we can do something else. We can take our pressure plate. And put it right here, right beside the door. We step on it, it opens. And now it stays closed. Excuse me a second. There we go. Right click opens it. And it closes automatically. This is a way to create a little space so you don't have uh, zombies banging on your poor door. It also allows you to get out quickly without turning around all the time. But it also allows you an automatic door closer. Now I can do that technically for the door as well, but it becomes a little silly. Because if I put a pressure plate here on the door, every time I come up to it, it's going to pop open. Maybe not what I want. If I have a skeleton out there, if I've got a zombie breaking down the door, what have you. And obviously having a pressure plate here just means the zombie walks in, opens the door, and walks through. Yes, mobs will set off pressure plates. You can also set up traps that way. All right. That being said, I'm going to head over to my web browser, and I'm going to show you how to use the Minecraft wiki. All right, here we are at the Minecraft Wiki. It's a little small because of the screen size here. And here's an example of lever. I could also type in button. I get a few other languages. I get button. I can do a search. Gives you a description, different color options. We have a wood button and a stone button. I prefer the wood buttons. They stand out a little bit better. We get advertising all over the place. Discussion, properties, uh, we've got some characteristics here in terms of luminance. Remember the torches have luminance. Physics, i.e. does it uh, attach to gravity, does it will fall, transparent, um, renewable, how many can you put inside your inventory. When it came out, gives us a description of the properties. When submerged in the water, buttons are destroyed rather than, rather than merely becoming unattached like torches. That's a very good thing to know. Uh, they can place on the side of chest, dispenser, workbench, furnace, same fashion. So it gives us a background of what it is. Um, this is the problem with some of the wooden buttons. Skeletons firing arrows. If an arrow hits a wooden button, it'll turn on. Not always a good thing. I prefer the ability to actually see the thing because I'm usually I'm in a hurry to try to push the button. Okay, and this is how you make the button. It's a wooden plank, stone or wooden plank, and I can click this here, this object here, and this will bounce me over to stone. So this tells me how to make stone, cobblestone, fuel, usually coal, and the object. So I can just keep clicking around on either the object here, stone, or a button. Here's a pressure plate. This is a half, uh, half slab from stone. You can make different materials. Um, you wood, cobble, and what have you. Brick. But with the stone, which is different than cobblestone, you can also make th neat things in like redstone repeaters, comparators, and this tells us all the different things that are required. So this is a redstone torch, which is a little different than a regular torch. I can click on that object. It tells, gives me a description of the object and everything that it's associated with.
There is a nice set of tutorials up here as well. So every time you run across something new or just curious, always go to the Minecraft wiki. Here's tutorials, newcomer, first day, second day, third day, hunger management, it's all stuff I'll be going over to, different types of shelters. Yeah, nomadic, cliffside, NPC, watchtower. So we've got a few different options here. Um, a mushroom house is actually kind of neat. Um, there are some challenges with it to get it to work right, but that's all right. Uh, that's, that will have to be for a different episode. So that's the short version of how to use the Minecraft Wiki. Always use it. Always go to it. When Every time you run across a temple of any type, they're always trapped. There's always something going on. And when you cross a new monster or a new concept, um, always go ahead and refer back to the Wiki. There's just so much information, and it's the only way you're really going to learn this game. All right? We'll see you soon.